so cute. Wow. Hi guys, happy 2019. You look well. Got a new haircut, got a tan, got a new job, got a new boyfriend, girlfriend. Looks good. So I have been a bit quiet for a while because the lazy spirit, holiday spirit, procrastination spirit, work spirit just got a hold of me. But at the end of last year, I did do some filming in Australia. And I was in Australia on the John Dillon Fellowship. The John Dillon Fellowship is a leadership course for agricultural research management and agriculture policies to develop our skills in those areas and to get our confidence when it comes to leadership. We travelled all around, I mean all along the coast. I'm really bad with geography. We basically were right at the top at um, Cairns and then we came just to Brisbane. I just wanted to give you like a brief um, view of what happened over the five weeks on the fellowship. Basically the fun things we did, action shots, moving, buses, transport, stuff like that. And then the amazing people that I met at networking events and then the amazing fellows. So there were 14 fellows from 11 different countries. Samoa isn't that far from Australia, but I was actually travelling to Canberra. I was pretty jet lagged and my face was so dry. But once I got to Canberra, oh, it was amazing. I got to meet the John Dillon Fellows. We had a great opening ceremony and then we got to explore the city. This morning we're at Parliament House and it's about eight o'clock in the morning. This is Canberra. It was such a great experience to tour Parliament and to meet Senator Anne Rustin, Assistant Minister for International Development at the Pacific. After Parliament, we gapped it for a three hour drive to Sydney. Morning everyone, so today, well this week, we've been spending most of our time on the University of Sunshine Coast campus and behind me are some of the buildings that we've been in this week. We've done some workshops, virtual reality work and a lot of networking events. The weather's been really good so far. Really sunny, one time it was even 30 degrees, so really warm. So as soon as they hit the water, he can't help himself, he's going to come over and defend his home. See so you later. Bring him over here now. There we go, get on through again. This was one of the many places that we stayed, but this was our home on the Sunshine Coast. By now we had done a lot of work on communication, knowing how to share our story and telling the people how they can be involved with our work. We got to visit another great site, the Musliman Gorge. This was an indigenous site for the Aborigine people, the native people of Australia. We then travelled all the way up to Kins, a really tropical climate where we visited the James Cook University. Yeah. 
My most favourite was their tropical herbarium where they had some amazing pieces of plants where people had collected them and then press them so they could preserve them and then collect different data like where they were collected and their species name and who collected them. We then got to visit Daff. So as you walk in you need to sterilise your feet so we had to walk through I don't know what it's called I think it's like a foot bath just to make sure that the bottom of our shoes were clean and we weren't bringing in any seeds. We saw the different grasses that they grew for their livestock and also the different type of soil. It was really red. And then also their mango breeding program. I think I told you guys last time or maybe if you've seen my Instagram but I love food. So oh, the food was fire over there like I love sushi and sushi is quite expensive in Samoa so oh my god I went hard on the sushi and basically anything that I saw I ate. The John Dillon Fellowship course was so valuable. I mean, I came into the course thinking that I wasn't a leader, I couldn't be a leader, and you know, only people with lots of experience can become leaders. But when I came out, I completely had a 360 of my thoughts of what a leader was. You know, I can be a leader, and I, and in my own way, I had been becoming a leader, but I just needed that confidence and the tools to be able to apply my leadership skills. And the John Dillon Fellowship really gave me those skills, like handed them to me on a silver platter. And I was so thankful for the opportunity to ACR and University of Sunshine Coast to spend an amazing five weeks with the John Dillon Fellows and all the staff. It, it's such a valuable um, point in my career and I'm just so thankful. Hey guys, thank you for making it through the video and thank you so much for watching. You know, if you have any questions, sound off below. If you want to know more about the fellowship, just, you know, send me a message and um, I can hook you up with any details that you need. It is such a good course. I would recommend it for you if you are in the agricultural sector. I'll see you next time. Talk fast with foot.